In this video, you will learn how to use the numbering preview, which allows you to preview the proposed position numbers before applying them to model objects. Numbering is crucial to ensure accurate drawings, reports, and fabrication files, for example. The numbering preview helps you prevent numbering errors by letting you cancel the numbering and adjust settings and the model. The basic workflow is simple. First, you create the numbering preview, and then you review the results. After this, you can decide if you want to accept the numbering, reject the results, but keep the dialog open, or adjust the model based on the results. Finally, you can accept the numbering. To access the numbering preview, go to the Drawings and Reports tab on the ribbon, click Perform Numbering, and start a numbering command like Number Modified Objects. This command numbers all parts, assemblies, cast units, and reinforcement that have been created or modified since the last numbering. In the main table of the Numbering Preview dialog, you can view the object properties that affect numbering. The dialog uses different colors to indicate the status of your objects. Red indicates overlapping numbers. This means objects from different numbering series would receive the same number, which isn't allowed. These objects will be excluded from numbering until fixed. Yellow signifies changes number. These are objects that have been modified and will be assigned a new number. Green means new. This applies to objects that haven't been numbered yet or their prefix or start number has been changed. Finally, gray signifies keeps number. These objects have been modified, but they can maintain their previous number. To help you manage numbering results, you can sort rows by property values by clicking on a column header. To sort by multiple columns, hold down Shift while clicking additional column headers. Filtering is just as easy. Click the filter icon in any column header and select specific values to show or hide rows. If you want to clear all active filters, just click the Clear All Filters button in the upper right corner. To quickly investigate objects, use the selection buttons. Click the first button to automatically select model objects based on your selected rows in the dialog. You can also do the reverse. Select objects in your model first, then click the second button to find their corresponding rows in the dialog. When objects have different values for properties that do not affect numbering, you can have a closer look at these objects individually. Select a row in the main table where quantity is more than one. These objects are then listed in the individual objects table below the main table. Here you can easily review different properties, such as GUID in this example. Before you start fixing the numbering issues, click Reject Numbers. The model won't be reloaded, saving you time, and you can go back to adjust your model or numbering settings. Now let's fix the overlapping numbers. When you see red overlapping rows, select them, right-click, and you will have several options to help you resolve the conflict. For example, you can click Select Overlapping Series in Model to locate the conflicting objects in your model and adjust their start numbers in the property pane. This allows you to make more numbers available or prevent conflicts. After fixing the issue, let's close the dialog and perform numbering again. You can see that there are no longer overlapping numbers. When you're happy with the numbering, click Assign Numbers. This will apply the proposed numbers to your model objects. The numbering preview helps you proactively identify and fix numbering issues. It is useful to perform numbering often, even if you do not accept the changes, to maintain accuracy.